in this week's highlight clip presented by Meyer. Eastern Kentucky tied the program record with 22 wins in a season with a 91-53 victory over Austin P on Wednesday. With the win in their final regular season home game, the Colonels also tied the school mark for most home wins in a season. EKU finished with a 15-1 record at home, the second best home court winning percentage in the history of McBrayer Arena. The Colonels outscored Austin P 14-4 to start the game. The Governors closed to within five before Eastern answered with a 22-3 run to stretch the margin to 24 points and take complete control of the game. Eastern left no doubt by opening the second half with a 21-8 run. Timmy Nip's dunk midway through the second half gave Eastern a 32-point advantage. The Colonels never let up, taking a 41-point lead in the final minute on a three-pointer by Ryan Parsons. Glenn Cozy led Eastern Kentucky with 17 points. Corey Walden added 15 and Terrius Johnson finished with 12. Playing in what was likely his last home game, senior Mike DiNuno turned in a complete performance. The Chicago native had seven points, grabbed a game-high 10 rebounds, and had a game-high nine assists and a game-high six steals. You know, we set the tone with our defense. Uh, we, that's what we try to do every game. And uh, you know, I really had a focus of coming out and trying to disrupt their guards tonight. And uh, you know, luckily it worked out, and our offense, everything offensively fell into place, and we got a big win. Eastern made just 33% of its shots in a road loss to Valparaiso on Saturday in the 2013 ESPN Bracket Busters. Curry Walden scored a game-high 20 points, and DeNuno finished with 19 points. We'll switch it over to the women now, where Eastern Kentucky women's basketball team defeated Austin P 69-55 on Saturday on Senior Day at McBrayer Arena. Playing in possibly her final home game, senior Alex Jones dominated the Lady Govs, scoring a season-high 16 points and grabbing 21 rebounds, which is a single game program record. With the performance, Jones became the number two rebounder in EKU history. That means a lot. Uh, I really didn't even know I had that many rebounds. So, you know, that just feels really good, you know, to know I had that many. And especially on senior day, it kind of makes it more memorable, I guess. <laughs> Junior Marie Carpenter also scored 16 points in the win as first place EKU wrapped up the regular season 13-1 at McBrayer Arena and improved to 11-3 in OVC action. Following the game, the Lady Colonels came back onto the court and signed autographs for their fans. EKU returns to action this weekend as the Lady Colonels travel south to face Tennessee Tech and Tennessee State in a pair of crucial conference games. This has been David Miller for EKU Sports.